Yes, sir. Big Stewie checking in. Flies got it ready. You know that. You see this. You smell this pimp juice on me now. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. I got I got one of my country cousins with me. Miss Donald's in the building. Ah, Hello. Country cousin. Miss Donald's in the building. Go ahead and introduce yourself, y'all. Yeah, it's your girl, Jazzy, a.k.a. Dope by Ashley, a.k.a. Dopey. Yeah, come you know. on, man. Jazzy a.k.a. Got... Miss Donald. If come it, on, it, man. It come on, man. Jazzy, <laughs> I heard you got the ladies now. Who told you that? Man, oh, my listen to God. me. I'm following your Instagram. I'm seeing what's going on. I'm seeing what pictures you like. You liking the same pictures I'm liking. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to see what's going on oh, now. Yeah, you Put know? your boy down. Come on, listen. We walk in this building together. We both going to grab them together. Come on, that. Come on, that. So tell me about Diddy. Sign in with Diddy, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, how? Like, because. And we like, go the, back. The same shit you said. Because uh-huh. I got the ladies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, that's what that's what drew her to me was that, that like, how I move with, with women. Mm. And then I think, because he didn't, like, when I first met him, on, on the writing tip, I was coming to write for for Love Records, and mm. I, I ain't gonna front. He ain't like no songs I did. I was like, bro, I'm about to leave. And then um, he met me. And then then he then he saw when I went to Miami, and then he just saw how I move with girls, mm. and he was like, yo, you oh you different. Mm. Then he heard the music and he heard what I was trying to do as far as like bringing like nineties R and B back. Mm. And he was like, oh oh yeah, nah, you giving me Biggie vibes. And mm. I think that was what made him fall in love with me. Was like. Not just my music. It was like... Just oh. your whole era. Like, how you move, how you like... But I tell people that personality is everything and how you carry yourself. It is, You know bro. what I'm saying? It's it's so much more than just music. So so what's the key? You know what I'm saying? You got... You know what? Songs for women, free games with niggas. What's the game? Give me some game, man. Like, what, what know, do guys be going wrong when they moving with ladies, man? Man, I ain't gonna lie. I, bro, I tell what my, you say? I tell my brothers this all the time, bro. Um, y'all just stop lying to them. Why, mm. I don't understand, like, why y'all think women... Don't say like, y'all. Okay, I don't understand okay. why men. Okay, because I don't be men, lying. I be telling good. the truth. But you had to grow into that. Oh yeah, definitely. And you know I did at a at, yeah at a later yeah, age too. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But like I promise you, like girls, women, wish our intuition is incredible, bro. Mm. A woman's intuition is like gold. It's currency, and so like if she she knows what it is before you tell her. Mm. And so like if you just keep it real with a woman, like you can get whatever you want from her. Like she will actually be cool with you talking to another women, other women. Mm. But like once you start lying to her, then you got. Then you make her feel like she just like now you got her like like gaslighting you gaslighting and now she like doubting everything she thought. Mm. Now you messing her up because like she's internally like, wait a minute, am I going crazy? Like, nah, just so just t- like straight up like, hey, this yes. ain't what it is, baby. I want I like you, you know what I'm saying? I'm scarred. I like to be around you. I want to you make me happy, but I, we ain't gonna be in a relationship. Yeah, just keep whatever you want to say to them. So that's that's real. Like be transparent with her if you're talking to other girls or if, like you don't want to be in a relationship. But I don't lie. Mm. And I'm I'm so stress free. Mm. You so put you good. alone though. No, I don't. No, no. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, I heard listen. this song. I'm a, <laughs> friend. I heard the song, friend. You alone, friend. And no, listen. I said nobody wants to be. Okay. I don't want to be in this world alone. Oh, okay. I really need someone to call my own. The mm. thing is, it's like, it's like, it's not about. It's not about, like every, nobody wants to be alone. Like Facts. I don't care if you got hella girls, you can still be alone. Right. Like, because have, somebody might not just give you that peace. Exactly, bro. You can have hella niggas or hella girls and like still be lonely. Like, like you gotta find that. P- I haven't found my person now, nah. mm. and, and and like I'm not rushing. I'm enjoying doing like and like like experiencing. I say I'm experiencing people. Like, mm. like I may not be in your life forever, but for whatever moment, shot in my life, I'm experiencing this. And she gonna I'm gonna learn something from her. And she gonna learn right. something from me. But but yeah, now nah, I'm like I don't want to be alone. Hell no. Nah. No, nah, that sucks. You know so how saying? many bad relationships have you had? Because <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's part so, of the song too, friend. Like, what's going yeah, on? So bad relationships. I don't, I wouldn't even call them bad relationships. Uh-huh. It's just like like, bro. Every relationship don't supposed to last mm. forever. Like everybody, some people just for a season. Yeah, bro. That shit is real. Like I'm, every girl that I talk to has made me better. Mm. I'm so grateful to every woman I've been with because like I learned something about myself. Mm. And like it sucks, but I'm probably gonna be better for the next woman. That's crazy. You know what I'm saying? But that's real. That's yeah. But like, that's what we gotta be. We gotta be like, and and a, and a, I probably made a woman and better too. You know what I'm saying? For her, for her new nigga. Right. Like, there's some girls that got, like, they left and now they pregnant with niggas. I'm like, damn, I'm proud of you. <laughs> like, <Right>. congratulations. <laughs> I'm proud of you. No, for real. You found what you. Like what you looking you for? Yeah, yeah. Like, I can't never be mad at a woman finding somebody that she that she calls her own. But like, so I ain't really been in no bad relationships. I've been in some toxic. Situations, but me too, friend. I just left one. Yeah, <laughs> just left one. What's I'm your two, sign, I'm guy? fresh out, Libra. 
The Libra, oh, mm-hmm. yeah, you need, yeah, you need some peace. But, yeah. <laughs> My own balance now. Yeah, you need some peace. Because I, I ran that bag up. Sometimes, something, uh, something about sometimes when you're not in a relationship no more, that you ain't got to rush home and you ain't got nowhere to bother to worry about. You just focus on that bag, you run that bag up. Bro, that's what I was telling that people. Bro, I just told somebody, I was like, I was like, I'm actually uh, more focused when I'm not in a relationship. Hmm. And they was like, what? Don't, doesn't your girl supposed to give you peace and hold you down? I'm like, yeah, but like, but also it can be distracting when you're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Cause like, it's a, now I gotta like tend to your needs and my needs. Now I gotta like let you know where I'm at. And now I gotta like, now sometimes I wanna be on the couch and just and chill and don't, not go to the studio. Like, I'm too comfortable. Right. Like, so sometimes I like being single, like I said, experiencing people. So I find that right person who I want to sacrifice this shit for. But, like, right now, like, I want to just focus on this music and, like, really, like, touch the souls of people, you know what I'm saying, with, with my R&B. Right. So are you the person that, like, like, are you still cool with your exes? Like, you know what I'm saying, after I'm you? Or cool. is it one of them, like, I'm done, I'm done. If I'm done, I'm done. Kick rocks. I never, I never fuck again. Mm. Can I say that? Yeah, you can. I can never, never, no more, nah, we ain't, we ain't doing smashing it. no more. Hell no. Nah. No, 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 no. But, like. I still want to smash my ex. But it's, but see. I feel like you you got a different type of energy. <laughs> like I, I hell no, you could you an ex for me, ex is for a reason, right? And so like sometimes you just look, don't even like, like my mom always say if that rock is there, don't move that rock, leave the rock. Where is that? Don't okay, move me, that my, rock. I might have to write that down. Leave the rock there. <laughs> leave you know, it there. If it's there, yeah, if it's there for a reason, like don't move it because you know you may open move that rock and some, some bats come out and you, come hey, on now. you know like come you got chill. So like I'm leave that rock where it's at, but um, but I'm cool with all of them except one. Cool with all of my exes except one. What happened with that one? Uh, I'm gonna tell you. So, I'm very big on like just because we two girls, mm. I'm not gonna hit you. Right, right. I would never hit no woman. I don't right. give a damn. Like, I'm I'm very domestic. That's abuse. gang for niggas. Free gang for niggas again. Yeah, like if you if you a girl, like like I feel like that's still domestic abuse just because right. we two girls. Right. Shot it like she violated. She put she she tried to she hit me, mm. and she know like now you put me in a situation where like. Now you got to defend yourself. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And you know, I told you the story about a domestic abuse in mm. my family. Like, I don't play with that. Right. And so, like, she just, I just feel like she, when you, when somebody, when the girl put her hands on you, that's, she it's, don't respect you. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I ain't mad. Never again. So, growing up in Memphis, Memphis is already rough. I love Memphis. <laughs> I, love, I was I love, just telling folks. I that. love Memphis. It's rough as hell, but I can't wait to see them drug dealers in Memphis and, and, them, and them old schools, man. Yeah. And just just be out there in the streets and dance. Like I love Memphis. Like, what's the culture like? Like, because y'all got so much talent in Memphis, and I feel like y'all just now budding. Like, Gotti been around yeah. forever. A ball, MJG, Triple Six, been around forever. But right now, it's like Memphis, M Town, oh. and everywhere around that. Like, what what's in the water? Man, it was so funny because we, we be tripping. I be laughing about this because like I literally was in elementary. I was in middle school at Craigmont Middle, and like we used to see Gotti drive by his like his Lexus that changed colors. We be like, "Yo, that's Gotti!" Like I remember like seeing Gotti like in middle school. Like that's how like he's been doing this shit for so long. Come on now, you know what I'm saying? And so like since like Kid Shine days, so like Kid Shine, he is from Memphis too. Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah, shout out to Kid Shine, like all them folks. And so like. Memphis, I be talking about Memphis because, like, like if you notice, I ain't really no R and B artists coming you know, out of Memphis. I'm damn. But y'all got blues and soul. I know, fool. But I'm damn. Near, I'm the only one, and it's sad because it's like, but my brother had to break it down to me because my brother was the he was the bad kid. He got he the one that got locked up. I was the good kid. Mm. I saw what he did. <laughs> you think I'm out the way? I'm out the way. I seen what he did to my family, and like I had a conversation with him, like, bro, why, like, why is Memphis how Memphis is? And he was like. Memphis is going forever. It's a gangster city. Mm. I don't give a fuck what you say. It's a real gangster city. Like it's it's a tough city, even at schools. Like, but on the other side of the track, you do got Koji Church. I be telling folks like Church of God in Christ, the biggest church. G. Patterson was like the big preacher there, right. fool. And like, so like every like every hood nigga, grandma, auntie, mama go to church. Right. And so it's just like if you know about so, like gospel music, soul music, all that shit. It's intertwined. Right. It's like, so I just feel like Memphis, like, if you, if you, like, even if you see, like, like how Glorilla, she always talk about God, like, it's just like, you walk that fine line of, like, soul and, like, and rap. So, like, people be just so, we feel, we mm. feel different. We love different in Memphis. Like, if we love you, we love you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's just kind of like, I don't know, it's just like two different walks, but, like, it really comes from that, like, that gospel and then that whole 3-6 crazy shit era. Like, that, Come on, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, 
this is like um, this is really like left right. So it's get, so weird. So so with the soul and everything, how did you get with Timberland and Missy? Like how did that happen as far like, as the like, mentor like, and you? Like that's because bro. So but I I was working at this. So you know DJ Lil Larry, who's actually yeah, I know Lil Larry. I you, started with Lil Larry. Like my dog Lil Larry Live. He was, on the road with two times. Yes, bro. I was in I was in high school working at um Trap House Trap House Studio. This was like 2010, 2011, 2009, 2011. The whole, and then that junk got raided. I was on my way from school, and I was about to pull up. Got a phone call, don't come to the studio, it's getting raided. I'm like, I'm sad, I'm depressed. And I'm like, bro, what am I about to do with my life? And <laughs> uh, where's, so this boy, this guy named my brother Webb, who was actually with, was with Young Dolph, he was like, yo, I got a producer that want to talk to you. And it was Wisdom, and he was in VA with Timberland. Mm. And he was from Memphis, but he was, you know, he's from Memphis. Him. But yeah, he worked with Tim. So I didn't really know him like that because he was already out of out of town. So like, he hit me up like he desperate. He going to Miami. He needs a writer. Can I come to Miami? I'm like, nigga, yes. Out of here. What? Come on, book a flight. I let them, I let him talk. I let uh, his manager talk to my pop. I'm looking at my pop like, look, you got to let this happen. And my pop, he ain't asked no questions. He was like, go. And so I went. And literally, I was supposed to be there for like a week, two weeks. And I started in Miami for like four years. Damn. I started, and like, I'm telling you, like, I was in all the clubs. I don't know what it is about Memphis. Like, but like, as soon as we get somewhere, bro, we we can just like. Adapt. Easy. I think that's the Midwest, though. It must be, bro. I think it's the Mid-South for Midwest. Yeah. I, it must be, because like, because y'all like that too, though. Y'all can adapt for sure. I've been here 18 years. That's what I'm saying, bro. That's what I'm saying. Any folk be arguing. <laughs> My Atlanta people be arguing about what high school I went to. That's crazy. I didn't go to no high school out here. That's crazy, bro. You know what but I'm you saying? feel like it. Like, but, it's like Jazzy Faye. I don't like, you but know? I think it's just because we love. And when we find something that we love, and because of what we went through, went through, it's almost like, I love my city, but I don't want to go back. Nah, bro. I'm good. I want to I wanna elevate. I want to elevate, and I love everything about my city. I'm so grateful. But I'm so glad I went to Miami and met Tim. And I'm so glad I went to Atlanta and Jersey with Missy. And like, you know what I'm saying? Really, like, I really had artist development. Mm. Like and I like I feel I feel bad for like like um a few artists and writers because they don't really have they don't got OGs no more. Right, facts. I really had OGs to like be like yo, Jazzy, calm your ass down. Like sit your ass, like Missy was not like she got in my ass if I you know what I'm saying and I love that like and I, I feel like that's the thing that's like everything's missing and then I got to Atlanta and Polo the Dunn's my manager so right. like now I really got an OG who's like teaching me the game so right. like. He Polo really taught me if you if you really want to get it funky like mm. you know what I'm saying but like so I had some some real like I really had some artist development I just didn't come in this joint just like so it's been a long time coming what it's here so it's almost like not even fair for like the new artists that is just popping because it's like they ain't even got nobody getting no guidance that's why they crashing out man maybe bro maybe bro like if you look at like all the greats and the legends they had OGs like Usher had L A and Jermaine Dupri right. Like, Chris Brown at the time he had a whole force of niggas, you know right. what I'm saying? Like, like Rihanna had a rock. She had like Jay Z in them, you know what I'm saying? So like, like the greats always have like, you know, big dogs that yeah. that, 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 that kind of saluted them. Destiny Beyonce, she had a daddy, it's right? Like, facts and, t- and a mama and her mama, like. Her mama. So yeah, like it's just like certain people you just you just you just see it. You know what I'm saying? You so I got, I got to give you props because just from, like I said, meeting you before and where you at now, music with Beyonce, Lotto, Man. Monica, 21, Drake, Shh, Chloe, crazy. Lemonade. Lemonade. Come oh on, God. man. I'm thirsty right now. Shh. Give me some lemonade. I want some lemonade. Man, how? Like, how do you feel, man? Like, man. and you're so humble and you're just still working. How do you stay focused on just continue, like, just to grow? Like, man, you know, it's so dope because, um, like I feel like I have a bigger purpose than just making songs. Like I really wanted to. I really said when I was a songwriter, I was like, "Yo, I want to make songwriters cool. Like I want to make the same way you say DJ Mustard's name, or the same way you say Metro's name. You mm-hmm. gotta say Jazzy's name like that. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't no ghostwriter. You're not gonna treat me like a ghost. And like that was one thing that I really wanted. That and I feel like I've I've been a part of like the new wave of of making songwriters cool, bro. Mm-hmm. Like I feel like that's a that's a real thing. Like. We don't like they be trying to hide us. Do you do you ever get any backlash from like saying like Nah, I wrote this? Mm-mm. No. Because I, I know I know a lot of people that that's came out and was like I wrote this song, I wrote this song, and then everybody blackballed them. Yeah, I know people like that too. But the thing is, like, you gotta 
I don't know what conversation y'all have amongst y'all self. Mm-hmm. But if I had a conversation with an artist and they told me I couldn't say I wrote it, I'd be like, well, don't, I'm not, I can't. Yeah. You can't have no, it. No, thank bro. you. No, I'm straight. Everything ain't for you. Nah, because like your name, yo, your name is more important than any of this stuff. Right. Like, like, it just sometimes you got to de- decide like what's important. Is the bag important or like your name? And my name has always been important because I know that th- that's going to motherfucking travel more than that dollar bill. Like, I get the money when it comes. Like, right. but my name, I can get. Come on now. Bro, that net, yo, because your network, especially in LA, bro, just the fact that I wrote Old Town, I had a, a piece of Old Town Road. They don't know how much I got off Old Town Road, right. but like, well, my people don't care, bro. Right. Like, are you Old Town Road? Oh, come, come to my. <laughs> come come on my, in. Come on in. Come to my booth. Like, come to my skybox. Like, oh, yeah, for sure. So, like, but that's what I'm saying. You got to have your name. If you don't have your name and I, I just took the money. Then they wouldn't know, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I'm not with that. You gonna know I wrote that song, mm, and you gonna and respect it, right? Like, why are you so scared that it's gonna take that away from you? Like all the greats had writers, even Facts. Michael Jackson. Like, Come on now, nigga. Whitney Houston didn't write a song. Come on now, talk to him now. You know what I'm saying? But Mariah Carey didn't write no songs, but like she, what well, she did write some songs. I apologize, she did. But, but like, even if you looking at Jay Z, like Jay Z got credits on his album with, with people under his name. Bro, so the Kanye. Wrong with that. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, though, a good song exactly. it takes it takes multiple people to it put an amazing people. song together. And I don't touch nobody rap verses. Mm. I okay. have never touched a rapper's verse. Okay, that's, that's one real. thing I can say about like I don't like I ain't that cold. Right. Okay. I ain't mad. <laughs> like no, nah, nah, you know what I'm saying. Like I'm cold, but like it's di- it's a difference from writing verses for a nigga who this is what you talking about. Like, right. I, can, I can get you like the structure, give you a hook that's universal for everybody. But right. when it comes to them verses, that's you. Yeah, yeah they gotta do that. So tell me about this album. Man, Songs for Women, Free Game for Niggas. I'm so proud of it, bro. Like, the the reaction is I expected it, but I really didn't expect it like this. You know what I'm saying? That's why I had to come to Atlanta, because Atlanta's so big with R&B. Like, mm. like, if, like, I, like, I have to touch Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? Like, I want, I want to see people sing my shit here. Right. That's going to feel different. You know what I'm saying? So, but it's pretty much self-explanatory, bro. Like, I love women, and I'm a woman who loves writing songs for women. And it is what it is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And free game for niggas. And free game for niggas, bro. I ain't mad. Yeah. But I, I appreciate it. I'm proud of you. Oh, man. Thank I can't you wait still. for you to come back so we can talk about that bag that you're getting in. Come you know on. what I'm saying? Then we can talk that money talk. Come on. Hey, I, know it's coming. I, I, know it's, I know it's already here, but I'm talking oh, about yeah, that, that that on the road, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, that show I can't money wait. talk. I can't wait. That yeah, show nah. money talk still a little different now. That's That come yeah. every day, all the time. Oh, come on now. I heard. Back so I heard. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to hear about the two years. It's going down. My girl checking in. Big Stewie, yes, Lord. It's I'm on the 7-9. Trap house booming.